And what are these down here? This is track freezing. Track freezing is a CPU management um, strategy. Right here, I've created two absolutely hellish um, hate machine tracks. They are absolutely loaded with, with plugins. And I have this blue aqua frozen look to them. And that's because I have taken them and froze them. Freezing a track, I'll just show you how to do it. You right click, you freeze, and you see a temporary rendering of the track. And you see a corresponding unload of the CPU. And the reason is, is that if I have tracks with many, many plugins, even if those tracks are just sitting there in a session, not even passing audio, um, all these plugins are constantly uh, scanning this, the, each other. They're constantly scanning the arrangement and session views. And they're constantly, constantly scanning. And that constant scanning is tearing up your CPU. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to unfreeze this. And I went up from 10% to 20, 30% just on these two tracks. And, and I'm already starting to crack up. And if I turn these on, you can see that I have the best synth out there, Rob Papin's Predator. I've got the always amazing Slayer. Not only that, I've got like six instances of it. And my Wave Arts out here on the end. These guys are constantly looking at each other for relationships. Even when I take this offline, this feedback is constantly going with this particular patch. Even if I take it offline, they're still sitting back there. Okay, so in order to truly unload this CPU, you have to refreeze those tracks. I can still um, work with these frozen tracks in a live set situation. I can still play some of the MIDI, and they're still functional in most ways, but, but it, it is a strategy for keeping these, you know, or my ideas in my session and unloading that CPU bus. All right, so that is it. I loved doing this tutorial. I love this application. And I hope that in some way you are inspired to take a leap of imagination in your music. And I wish you the best on that. Thanks for taking a look and we will see you next time.